Let's talk about the divergence of D marble. He did a laser test where he shot a laser beam over 10 miles, and he claims that he has proven with that test that the Earth is flat. The greater sapient pointed out to him that he didn't account for refraction and the divergence of the laser beam. Now, Daryl has an opinion on refraction and divergence. He actually said this. It's always flat. We know that water is always flat, and we know that laser is always shooting a straight beam, and that, that there is no flipping way that a laser can bend over 60 feet uh, over bulging water. Like, neither of those things exist. So I'm just going to go over all those things. Refraction, refraction, refraction. Uh, atmospheric refraction. Aha! Beam divergence. <laughs> Light dispersion. Yeah, yeah. If you say so. so. Beam divergence and light dispersing, yeah, yeah, if you say so. Well, Daryl, I'll do you one better and I'll show you the divergence of a laser beam. I happen to own this 200 milliwatt laser and the width of this laser beam is about 4 millimeters wide. So the diameter of this laser beam will be 4 millimeters. I made a target with lines on it and those are five millimeters apart. I placed some reference points on my floor and the first one here is at 50 centimeters and all the others are at a, a one meter apart. Now then I shot a laser on the target starting at eight meters and the beam is about 15 millimeters wide. At seven meters it's a bit less wide. At six meters it's even less wide. At 5 meters, you can see where this is going, 4 meters, 3 meters, 2 meters, 1 meter, and the last one is at 50 centimeters, and you can see that this one is nearly equal as when it leaves the laser itself. So, for those who had noticed, this is the divergence between 8 meters and 50 centimeters. And that's quite a lot already. But how about uh, Daryl's test over 10 miles? He actually tested over 10.3 miles, I think. But let's just look at 10 miles. Now, I measured in meters, so 10 miles is 16,093 meters. So I put my measurements in a graph and then I used a forecast calculator in Excel to calculate what the diameter of the laser beam would be at 10 miles. 21,987 millimeters or nearly 22 meters or 72 feet. The laser beam at 10 miles distance would have a diameter of 72 feet, Daryl. And, as you didn't account for the disk divergence or the refraction of light, as the Greater Sapien showed you, it renders your laser test useless. Thanks for watching.